Hello and welcome. This Skelty is apparently based on the torus shape. Let us examine the stitching of this object. Go to Edit Mode. And in the UV Editor, ensure that you have enabled Sync UV and Mesh Selection. Now you can select vertices in the UV Editor, and immediately see the corresponding vertices on your mesh. Select the leftmost column of vertices in the UV map by pressing and holding down ELT, and then right-click on the leftmost column. On the model we see that one complete edge loop gets highlighted. This is correct. Now shift, ELT, right-click, on the rightmost column in the UV editor. On the model we see that a second edge loop gets selected. This is not correct. Because we work with a torus shape, we expected that the leftmost and the rightmost column of the UV map are assigned to exactly the same loop on the mesh. We have to fix this. Now examine the topmost row of vertices in the UV map. Alt, right click, on the topmost row. You see that the bottommost row gets also selected. This is correct. The top to bottom stitching is correct and behaves as expected. Let us see what the Baker tool will create for this object. Go to Render Quick Bake Sculpt Meshes. Now examine the resulting Sculpty. Go to Object Mode. Then click on Object Scripts Preview Selection. This will create an object based on the current Sculpt map. This object will show you how your Sculpty will look in Second Life. We see that our object will be rendered to a flat shape. This is apparently not what we wanted. And the problem is directly related to the wrong stitching of the original object. So how can we correct the wrong left to right stitching? Apparently the mesh itself is fully correct. So, this is a perfect case for Sculptify objects. But before we actually apply the Sculptify tool, we have to do a little preparation. It is important to mark the seams. Since we have already selected the top and bottom edge, we just mark the corresponding vertices in the mesh as seam. For this we click on Mesh, Edges, Mark Seam. Now we have marked the top to bottom seam. Let us define the other seam. We out right click on the leftmost column in the UV editor. We again mark the edge loop as seam. Now we have marked the left to right stitching seam. We are ready now to re-sculptify the object. Go to object mode. Then select Object, Scripts, Sculptify Objects. The resulting object has a correct UV map, with the correct stitching. Now let us call the Baker tool, and then preview the Sculpty. This looks much better. But we see black spots on the object. So what is that? A closer inspection in edit mode shows what happens. You see that near the dark spots the faces intertwine. This happened because the inner surface and the outer surface of the object are too close to each other. You can correct this manually by shifting the vertices a bit such that the surfaces no longer intertwine. Then the black spots disappear. You can now do some fine corrections of your mesh, bathe again, and then your Skelty is ready for transport to Second Life.